When you're the daughter of an Indian father and a Russian mother, nobody would blame you if you grew up feeling a little culturally confused. But this wasn't the case with Svetlana Tulasi. She grew up watching movies and music videos from her dad's motherland and she came to realize that she had a passion for dancing. Fast forward some years and she's now an accomplished Kathak dancer with an international profile, including being a star performer with the Kathak Rockers. The Jersey-based Jazzy Masala creative hosted the Rockers recently and we met up with Svetlana. India and Russia have something of a long-standing love affair, with Indian movies enjoying an enthusiastic following in Russia. Even so, Svetlana Tulasi does present an unusual blend of cultures, and Zaki was curious to map out her backstory. When I think of Russia, I think of snow, fur and expert ballerinas. So coming across acclaimed dancer Svetlana Tulasi was no surprise at all, until I found out that her expertise was in Kathak and Bollywood dancing, so obviously I had to find out more. Svetlana! Hey, it is so wonderful to have you in South Africa. Thank you for having me. Can you give us some insight into who Svetlana Tulasi is? Well, I am half Russian, half Indian. I grew up in Moscow and I'm a performing artist. At what point did you become serious about being a professional entertainer? That happened a couple of years ago, actually. I've been dancing my whole life, but I never thought until lately that this is going to be something I'm going to be doing all the time. So it's just been a couple of years that I've been touring like crazy, performing, teaching, choreographing, filming. How did you discover your love of dance? It was a tough love at the beginning because I started, then I quit, then I restarted, then I quit again, and then from the third attempt, I stayed. And that was the time when I met my Guruji, someone that taught me not just dance, but I would say life. Should we grab some tea? That would be lovely. <laughs> Svetlana's guru was a graduate of the National Institute of Kathak in Delhi. While Svetlana completed her classical dance degree at the Prayag Sangeet Samiti University of Indian Classical Music and Dance in Allahabad. Svetlana, how did you go about preparing for your career? Did you study dance? Yes, I have a degree in Kathak dance and my teacher throughout this whole time, she has been the biggest force in my artistic path. She saw something in me when I started, something I didn't see at a time. She just made me grow and I'm beyond grateful to have that experience in my life. Has your Russian heritage affected the way you perform as an Indian dancer? Russia is famous for having athletes and artists in ballet, in rhythmical gymnastics, and that requires a lot of discipline. So my teacher, since she was also Russian, she has applied the same techniques to teaching me Kathak. Even though it is a traditional Indian art form, I've been learning it from her in a very systematic Russian way. <laughs> so I think that helped a lot to build a structure that you can share with others. What have been some of the highlights of your career? I've done a couple of TV shows so far. Ukraine's Got Talent and then Russia's Got Talent and then I've been a choreographer at a So You Think You Can Dance in Ukraine. I've also done a TV show in India and we've performed all over the world together with my team with Kumar Sharma and Kathak Rockers. We've traveled from North to South America, Europe and Asia, everywhere all over the world. I'm just beyond grateful to be able to do this for a living. <laughs> How did the collaboration between Kathak Rockers and Jazzy Masala come about? They auditioned specifically to perform with us. We were surprised to see so much talent in this country. They had just a couple of days to learn very complex choreographies. I think they did a brilliant job. They were very dedicated, very hardworking, and I really, really appreciate that. Who have been some of the performers who you admire and who inspire you? My biggest inspiration is Kumar Sharma, which is currently my dance partner and beyond grateful to be able to perform with him. I saw his videos a couple of years ago and I thought, wow, this guy is nice, we should dance together. Incredible Kathak dancer, very professional, very crisp and sharp and elegant and incredible stage presence. You're now studying acting. I've always loved movies, Hollywood, Bollywood, everything. And I discovered that acting is something that really, really helps you in dance because it, it teaches you how to express what you feel in the most honest and truthful way. And I believe that these two art forms kind of complement each other and that's what eventually I would love to do. You also teach dancing. Yes, I work as a dance teacher as well. It just brings me utter joy to see people so passionate about dance and wanting to learn so much and I'm just happy to share whatever I know 
to let them experience this magic of Indian dance. I would love it if you could teach me a move or two. Sure. Thank you. I'm gonna kick my shoes off. Oh yeah. Where do we start? So this is the first gesture that we gotta learn and we put our hands right in front of our body. One line between your elbows. So what we're gonna do is one, two, three, four. And then we come back and then we go to the other side. Two. The hand gestures are so intricate and stylized. Do they have a meaning? Usually we don't have a meaning for a specific hand gesture. A combination of gestures in motion creates a meaning. So for example, we have this gesture which is called alapadma. It doesn't have a specific meaning, but when you do it like this, it becomes a lotus flower, right? So for example, we have this combination which is a bird. It has a beautiful story to it once you start using those gestures in motion in the choreography and that's how you create magic. <laughs> Svetlana, I could watch you for hours. Thank you so much. We're performing tonight at the Lyric Theatre. Should we get going? Let's go. The Kathak Rockers have earned international acclaim for their shows and despite Svetlana's talent and experience, she always makes time for just one more rehearsal before performance. Even while rehearsing, Svetlana performs every move with passion and fire. You're gorgeous! <laughs> Thank you so much. Svetlana, what kind of preparation goes into a performance? On average, it's about eight hours a day of rehearsals. Because we're a group, we want to make sure that we look synchronized. So we have to train hard. That's what makes a performance nice and uh, enjoyable for the audience. What advice do you have for aspiring performers out there? It's like with gym, like with any sports. You have to dedicate yourself fully to it. You have to commit and you will reach where you want to be. Break a leg for this evening. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.